Years before Rick Singer became the face of Operation Varsity Blues, he was a Sacramento area consultant helping local kids like Kim Perry prep for the SATs. She was stunned to learn Singer's now accused of orchestrating the multi-million dollar scandal. Like, who, who knew um, because he just never struck me as the type of person that would ever cross a line or break a rule, let alone a law. Prosecutors say Singer paid off corrupt coaches and crooked test proctors to help wealthy parents get their kids into elite schools, all while running his college prep business. California high school teacher Carl Grubaugh says Singer's program was popular in his community, but it also raised a lot of eyebrows, with one parent rejecting Singer because he wanted $50,000. I think he would have taken anybody's money if he thought he could get them in what he called the, what he called, he calls it the side door. The ends justifies the means. It's it's morally bankrupt. Singer has pleaded guilty to racketeering and other federal charges and is now cooperating with authorities, even wearing a wire to expose dozens of others, like Davina Isaacson and her husband, whose oldest daughter was featured on Singer's blog and got into UCLA as a soccer player, even though prosecutors say she had never played competitively. So far, the Isaacsons have declined to comment. At least nine colleges have been impacted by the scandal, though none has been charged. One of the schools is the University of Southern California, Plagued by scandals on Wednesday, USC welcomed a new president who promises to tackle the school's challenges. This is going to be all our universities, and I think, especially when you get down to admissions, trust is so important. Everybody wants to believe that we are doing the right thing for bringing people to our universities.